a lovely 12 inch 78 RPM shellac Columbia record. John Donne, the 16th century poet, uh, 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 recited by Anthony Quayle, The Sun Rising and The Anniversary. I think this was probably recorded in the late 1940s, uh, early 50s. Busy old fool, unruly son, why dost thou thus through windows and through curtains call on us? Must to thy motions lover's seasons run? Saucy pedantic wretch, go chide late schoolboys and sour apprentices. Go tell court huntsmen that the king will ride. Call country ants to harvest offices. Love all alike, no season knows, nor clime. Nor hours, days, months, which are the rags of time. Thy beams so reverend and strong, why shouldst thou think? I could eclipse and cloud them with a wink, but that I would not lose her sight so long. If her eyes have not blinded thine, look, and tomorrow late tell me whether both the Indias of spice and mine be where thou left them or lie here with me. Ask for those kings whom thou sawest yesterday, and thou shalt hear all here in one bed lay. She is all states and all princes I. Nothing else is. Princes do but play us. Compared to this, all honors mimic all wealth alchemy. Thou, son, art half as happy as we, in that the world's contracted thus. Thine age asks ease, and since thy duties be to warm the world, that's done in warming us. Shine here to us, and thou art everywhere. This bed thy center is, these walls thy sphere. All kings and all their favorites, all glory of honors, beauties, wits, the sun itself which makes times as they pass, is elder by a year now than it was when thou and I first one another saw. All other things to their destruction draw, only our love hath no decay. This no tomorrow hath nor yesterday, running it never runs from us away, but truly keeps his first last, everlasting day. Two graves must hide thine and my course, if one night death were no divorce. Alas, as well as other princes, we who prince enough in one another be, must leave at last in death these eyes and ears, oft fed with true oaths and with sweet salt tears. But so, where nothing dwells but love, all other thoughts being inmates, then shall prove this, or a love increased thereabout, when bodies to their graves, souls from their graves removed. And then we shall be truly blessed, but we no more than all the rest. Here upon earth we are kings, and none but we can be such kings, nor of such subjects be. Who is so sweet as we, where none can do treason to us except one of us two? True and false fears let us refrain. Let us love nobly, and live, and add again years and years unto years, till we attain to like three score. This is the second of our reign. <laughs>